In today's episode, we are hitting up the 26th Norwich Vintage and Modern Toy Fair, but fear not, there's also video games. Hey again folks and welcome back to another video and that's right, today we are back on the hunt for vintage and modern toys here at my local toy fair in the fine city of Norwich. And here's the thing, most of the time when I go to these kind of toy fairs, I'm not really looking for anything in particular, but this time a recent Facebook Marketplace pickup has made me look for one specific item. That's because recently on Facebook Marketplace, I picked up this absolute bargain here. This Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles foot ski. This is vintage Playmates 80s TMNT awesomeness. Now this is complete in the sense of how it was sold back in the day, but you may notice on the back, it doesn't come with a figure to ride the foot ski. So at the toy fair today, I'm really hoping I can find a figure to ride this toy. Just before we head to the toy fair, I remind you folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. So I put new videos out every Saturday live at five as well as bonus content throughout the week. I really want you folks along for the ride. Now let's head to the toy fair. Here we go then folks, the 26th Vintage and Modern Toy Fair here in the heart of Norwich. And like I said at the start of this video, whenever I go to these toy fairs, I normally have one or two items in mind which I'd really like to pick up. But more often than not, when I'm hunting, I'm hunting as an opportunist. Just picking up anything cool which I see. And this is a toy line which I've been looking at for a long while. The Jurassic Park Hammond Collection. These are the absolute creme de la creme, the tip top figures that they make for Jurassic Park. A slightly smaller scale but so incredibly detailed and here we have one of my favorite toy lines of all time the playmates tmnt figures i love these so much back in the day and of course i'm looking for one very specific figure this time being rocksteady to sit on my foot ski which i picked up from facebook marketplace but unfortunately at the moment it doesn't look like we're gonna have much luck but here's the thing there is a lot of loose toys here and especially tmnt playmates figures mixed in with some other figures and honestly this is quite a common line you gotta remember this was one of the best selling toys of the 80s it was one of the best selling toys of my childhood as well i absolutely loved them now retro toy collecting can be very very expensive and here is a way to get some absolute bargains if you kind of just rummage through these boxes, all of the figures here were £2. There's an absolute mishmash of everything in here. We've got wrestling figures, some superhero figures, even a couple of TMNT figures hidden in here. But this can be an absolutely fantastic way to find some absolute bargains. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, when it comes to modern toy collecting, my favourite company is NECA. They just put out the absolute best figures on the market just for likeness and also for the box graphics and the display of these figures i am a mostly cib toy collector and i do prefer having a full plastic kind of display piece like you can see here on the turtles in time the bebop and rock city but i do also kind of like these ones where you can open up and see more details it just allows it to have more artwork some absolutely fantastic necker pieces here brilliant stuff but as well as retro and modern toys, there are also video games. And for £5, I could not pass up on this box and complete Mega Drive game. I've never heard of this game, Green Dog the Beach Surfer Dude. But honestly, on the artwork alone, this is worth picking up. And for a complete Mega Drive game, a market, a bargain. Of course, at any video game or toy market you will go to around the country, there is going to be a plethora of Funko items. I actually kind of like these ones inside soda bottles and kind of drinks cans. I think these are kind of cool, kind of different. I do find it a bit weird. A lot of these are kind of blind buys. I'm not really a big fan of blind buys. But honestly, if you're a pop collector, there is no better place to be. Now, here is something, once again, which isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I really like these Tiger Electronic handheld games. Yes, they play pretty rubbish, but the iconography of these, I always have some of the best IPs. Like you can see there, it was a Terminator one. Now, these were pretty good prices, about 35 quid, but I did decide to pass because honestly, while I'm here, I'm mainly looking for figures. And one of the best ways to pick up cheap vintage figures is picking up these loose figures. You can see here, there was a massive amount of Masters of the Universe figures, they were all seven pounds loose. Which, when you're thinking about it, for 40 
year old toys to be able to pick it up for that price is an absolute bargain we have some absolute bargains here as well these boxed and complete game boy games in really really nice condition Obviously, you'll be paying quite a high price for Pokemon Yellow. That goes without saying. But there was also some cheap bangers here. I do regret not picking this one up. Game Boy Gallery 5 Games in 1. That was one of the first games I ever had for my Game Boy. And for that reason alone, it'll always hold a special place and a special nostalgia in my heart. And for 12 quid, I probably should have picked it up. Because for 12 quid, that's a lot of memories. There was also some really nice boxed N64 games here. They were balance very very precariously i must say and yeah really good prices for these again and these were in absolutely fantastic condition but as i said i'm primarily looking for toys as well as video games this store also had some really nice playmates tmnt figures but unfortunately although there was some really good figures here i wasn't able to find my rock city which i needed so much but i did find his partner in crime bebop complete on the card from the 80s and this was the 10 back version a very very nice figure here but honestly primarily when it comes to tmnt playmates figures i'm going for loose so i did pass on it but it was a really really nice figure and so yeah some good stuff here carrying on around the toy fair and without a doubt when you go to any toy fair the line you're going to see the most of is star wars and it seems especially like kind of 90s onwards star wars there just seems to be an absolute flooded market of these figures but i don't know i'm just glad i'm not a star wars collector i would run out of room but one thing i do always have room for is playstation one games i had a good flick through these but unfortunately there wasn't really anything i needed here for the collection and here's the thing i would say with any toy market you go to around the country chances are there's gonna be one or two stalls selling video games so it's always worth heading along to these and if you're not primarily a toy collector you'll probably find some video games there Carrying on and some pretty cool carded figures here. We've got some Batman figures. I think there were some X-Men figures, some stuff like this. This was from a real saturated time in the market. The kind of mid-90s to the early 2000s. There was a lot of very similar toy lines. And honestly, I think a lot of these kind of got lost to obscurity because as i said it was an absolutely flooded time for the market really cool biker mice from mars alarm clock there but this is the thing with all these stalls you always have to be looking everywhere so like there was a box here and it had a lot of loose figures and this was absolutely packed and i was thinking right is this gonna be the time i find my rocksteady figure there's a lot of playmates tmnt stuff in here you just have to dig in and this is always one of the most questionable figures I always think that one looks a little bit sus. <laughs> one of my one of the strangest Bebop figures I think they made. They made some very strange TMNT figures. When you kind of strayed into like of series five or six, those figures, there were some very, very peculiar ones. I always loved the kind of Genghis Frog figures. They were super cool. Loads of stuff in here, including this one here. One of my favorites. The kind of auto mutations figure. Once again, complete in a box of 40 quid was a pretty good deal but this is the thing if i buy one i want them all next door and there he is our loose rock steady figure but here's the problem none of the accessories so he should have a shield and a machine gun i know it sounds petty but here's the thing while i'm looking for retro toys i'm mainly looking for them to be complete i don't need them boxed but i'd like them to be complete and especially for that one as i really want it as a display piece and on the very next store we have another one of my favorite vehicles from tmnt the knucklehead and this would be another one i'd really love to have on display with the foot soldier on top this vehicle was absolutely iconic in shredder's revenge recently and yeah just one of the very best vehicles from tmnt i think it's funny how the villains just seem to have the better vehicles and that's just one of my favorites other than tmnt my other favorite toy line from my childhood was jurassic park and I'm gutted to say back in the day I had a full set of these kind of cast metal dinosaurs but the best thing about these toys was the trading cards that came with these. The artwork on these trading cards is absolutely incredible. Earlier in the video we had some Tiger electronic handheld games but it wasn't just Tiger making these back in the day. Here we have one from Acclaim. 
The Simpsons versus the Space Mutants. This looks super, super cool. I love the Simpsons graphics on this one, but I'm kind of guessing the game isn't as exciting as it looks, but for looks, it looks so cool. Here's something else which I find super cool. These kind of bootleg figures from back in the day. These turtle fighters. Obvious knockoffs, but honestly, they're kind of cool. I imagine back in the day, these were like super duper cheap, but they're probably harder to find now because honestly, most of them probably just got destroyed over time. As well as retro and modern toys, I love board games. And check out this MB Games Nightmare game. This looks absolutely incredible. The artwork on here is absolute fire. And back in the day, this was one of my favourite TV shows of all time. I would have loved to have been on this show so much. And this was super cool. Now, here is a toy line you don't see very often. The Resident Evil 2 figures. And these can be fairly pricey. So I think the Tyrant here was 40 quid. Because honestly, I don't think they've made very many of these. And here we have Claire Redfield and a zombie. Really, really cool. I absolutely love the Resident Evil game series. Resident Evil 2 is one of my favourite games of all time. And honestly, if I could have got a bit of a deal on these and got them a little bit cheaper, I'd have definitely picked these up. Especially as they had like multiple versions of the Tyrant, which is just super cool. On the next store, they had some Amiibos. And while I do have a few of these in my collection, I don't really collect them hardcore. But this one was very tempting. Bayonetta, one of my favourite characters, one of my favourite franchises of recent years. That one was very tempting, but if I do collect Amiibos, I mainly aim for boxed copies. Like I said earlier, you can find video games at these retro toy markets. And here we had a pretty good selection of loose SNES games. Now, when it comes to the end of the toy market, but also on this store, they had another one of my favourite toy franchises of the 90s, the Kenner Aliens figures. And this is a really weird toy franchise because, of course, the movie was aimed at adults. But there was one toy from this line I always wanted in the 90s, the Power Loader. And unfortunately, I did pass this time as it wasn't complete and it didn't have the correct figure being Ripley. But stick around for the pickups as I do have an absolutely incredible Aliens related pickup from a viewer of the channel. Now, let's take it back to the games room for the pickups. Here we are then back in the games room from the 26th Vintage and Modern Toy Fair here in the fine city of Norwich. And while it was an absolutely amazing event, I don't have many pickups from there because honestly, it was just nothing that really tickled my fancy. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a figure which I was missing for my foot ski, but Fingers crossed I can find that in the future. But we do have a couple of pickups to go through, including a very special delivery from a viewer of the channel. We only have one pickup from the Norwich Toy Market this time, and it's this Mega Drive game right here, Green Dog the Beached Surfer Dude. And here's the thing, this was just £5. It is boxed to complete, even though it does have the Genesis manual and cartridge, but for £5 for a Mega Drive game in 2024, I just couldn't say no. And even better, this one isn't sold by CEX, so being able to add it to the collection is a real bonus. Now, the seller who owned this store also owns a shop just down the road in Kings Lynn, Retro Records and Toys. So if you're ever in the area, pay them a visit. He had some awesome stuff on his stall and keep those eyes peeled as I think in the future I'll be paying them a visit. Keeping on the theme of vintage and modern toys, in this package we have an absolutely incredible action figure box set which I needed to add to my collection. So when a viewer of the channel reached out, and said he had this for sale, I had to grab it. But before we jump into this box, I wanna give a massive shout out to Rob. We talk most days. He watches all the videos. We've done loads of trades. He's donated for the collection. He is an absolute VIP member of the channel and a massive shout out to his son, Lucas. They watch the videos every week and Honestly, it blows me away when I hear about fathers and sons, mothers and daughters watching the channel. It really warms my heart. So thank you, Rob, and thank you, Lucas. Without further ado, let's jump into this one. As soon as Rob said he had this item for sale, I knew I had to grab it. This is a thing of absolute beauty. And even better, Rob has actually put some bonus items in this box. So let's jump into this one first. Let's jump into this smaller package first and straight off we have a copy of Alleyway for the Nintendo Game Boy, an absolutely iconic game for the system which I'm sorely missing from my collection to thank you Rob for this one. Next up, Rob, much like myself, is a massive Tim and T fan and he has included a DVD of 
One of the series I've never watched because honestly it looks terrifying, Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation. I have never watched this, but this generally looks like the thing of nightmare fuel, but generally I'm kind of intrigued to jump into this one. Also hiding in the bottom of this box, we have something which I really, really appreciate, vegan snacks. If anyone ever sends me anything, please feel free to include any vegan snacks in here. They really keep me going. I'm out on my road trips. Let's jump into the main event then. So this was the item that Rob had for sale, which I knew I had to pick up. And you will see why as soon as I open this. So as I said in the video, I'm a massive fan of the old school Kenner Aliens figures. And this is a modern Alien versus Predator figure box set. And we'll turn it off. just look at the artwork on this one. This is a thing of absolute beauty. This is going to look incredible on the shelves. And just look at it. This is what I love. You can display it in the box. And also, if you open up the front flap here, you can see the figures in there. And also that SNES kind of stylization on the box. This is a thing of absolute beauty. I love the Aliens figures. I've never played this SNES game. I've seen playthroughs on YouTube, but never played it myself. It is a super expensive game, but at least this is some way I can own something for that incredible game franchise. So massive shout out once again to Rob and his son Lucas. This is an absolute thing of beauty. And this is what I love about toy collecting. It just gives you nostalgia. Even though this is a brand new figure, it still has that retro feel and that kind of throwback to the glory days of the SNES. And it just lets me experience this game because honestly, if you look how much this game is on CX, it will make your eyes water. It's a game that I have to play it somewhere and hopefully I can play this in some kind of emulation form. But this figure, it just takes my breath away. There we have it then folks, that was the 26th Norwich Vintage and Modern Toy Fair. And much like the video game fairs we have all around the UK, I'm looking to travel as much as possible over the course of 2024. So please let me know in the comments down below any toy fairs in your local area. And who knows, I might be taking a road trip there very, very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. And as always, keep playing the game. See you all soon.